Hey Wear Noticers, Shane here and welcome to another video on the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel. If you're new here, definitely take a moment to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on all my other awesome technology videos about things like smartphones, smartwatches, tech accessories, cases, computers, tablets, and really just so much more. But anyway folks, in this video we're going to be unboxing this guy right here. This is Apple's exclusive $20 polishing cloth that you can use to clean your Apple device's screens. Like for example, I have my iPhone 13 Pro Max right here. And the funny thing about this polishing cloth is not only is it on the more expensive side, being $20 for just one cloth, but it's also hard to get because if you buy it right now, it is still back ordered about a month from the Apple Store. So that's kind of funny right there. But anyway, without further ado, let's get to getting this cloth out of the box. Here we go. So folks, here we are up close and personal with this box. As you can see, it says Apple Polishing Cloth, and we've got even a picture of the cloth right here. I know it sort of just looks like a square with rounded corners, a gray square, but yeah, really simple box. And I will also add, it is very, very light. Um, I guess that makes sense because there's just a cloth inside. But anyway, let's just open it up and see this cloth. Oh yeah, here it is. And wow, it is actually pretty big. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think it would be this big, but I guess for $20, you're gonna get a big size cloth. And first impressions, it definitely feels thick in the hand. For sure, thicker than a standard microfiber cloth. And it's also got a nice soft feeling to it that I also think is different from microfiber cloths. So anyway, what else do we have in the box? Okay, safe for use on all Apple displays and surfaces. For infrequent cleaning of hard to remove smudges on nanotexture glass, a 70% isopropyl alcohol IPA solution may be used. And okay, anything else in the box? And that's it. So we can put this to the side, put this to the side and the cloth itself. Down here, we do have an Apple logo. If you guys can pick that up right there, um, sort of like engraved onto the cloth itself. Over here on the back, no Apple logo. And as you can see, the cloth is still creased down the middle from being inside the packaging. So I guess that's kind of nice. You can fold it up and maybe put it in your jacket pocket and be ready to wipe your Apple the screens whenever you need to. But anyway, let's actually try wiping down a screen with it. So right here, I have my iPhone 13 Pro Max and let's make sure it's all nice and smudgy with fingerprints. Okay, I'm touching it, I'm touching it. And now let's see, let's wipe it. Okay, nice and gently, and wow. Let's see, how's it going? And yeah, looks like I got most of the fingerprints right there. This cloth definitely feels good wiping down the screen. It feels like it gets the job done. So yeah, that was pretty quick. Obviously the iPhone 13 Pro Max, it might be the biggest iPhone screen, but um, compared to you know bigger Apple devices like the 16 inch MacBook Pro, it is still on the smaller side. So speaking of the 16 inch MacBook Pro, let me wipe off that screen with this Apple polishing cloth. So now here I have my 2021 M1 Pro 16 inch MacBook Pro, and this guy is very, very expensive. Obviously, as you guys know, it set me back about $3,000. So I actually make a point of trying my very best not to touch the screen at all because I just don't want to get fingerprints on this very expensive, beautiful XDR display. Um, so it actually looks pretty clean even before I use the Apple polishing cloth on it. But obviously, you know, there is a little bit of dust on it. So I am excited to actually use this official polishing cloth to wipe it off. This has been the first time I've wiped it off since I've got it because, you know, again, want to be very careful with the screen. So let's very gently and very carefully wipe it. Okay, I'm being super, super gentle and just being super, super gentle. And here we go, just wiping off the screen a little bit. And maybe there's a little bit of fingerprint right there on the side for me just opening up the laptop. And then down here, we can get some dust as well. And now folks, I'm done wiping down this giant computer screen with the Apple polishing cloth. And it looks good as new. Besides, of course, some of those stubborn specs are still on there. And for those, I probably would have to apply more effort. And you know, like I said earlier, I'm just doing a gentle dry wipe down of the screen right here. I don't want to risk damaging the computer screen at all right here. This computer is my baby. I absolutely love it. Because I mean, guys, how could I absolutely not love this XDR display right here? It is totally gorgeous. Oh, yes. And I mean, yeah, folks. Anyway, with that, there's not really much more to say about this Apple polishing cloth right here. Definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it. Do you think $20 is too much or do you think it's a fair price or do you even think it's too little? 
I doubt anyone thinks it's too little. And also, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to smash the subscribe button and subscribe to the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel for more awesome technology videos just like this one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Bye.